on those, it's taking you to a site that's forced itself onto um, our system. Don't click on them when they're highlighted like okay. that. None of these are meant to be going in, gone into. Mine aren't. Ours are not. Yeah. Uh, ours are not. Uh, yours uh, is. Yeah. Well, I mean, you'll start seeing it. If it's something that we'll start seeing. Like I wouldn't. Thing. I wouldn't click. Yeah. Whenever they. they would yeah. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah. yeah. And the kids oh, know that. Geez. Yeah. Right. So. Good I, morning. Yeah. <laughs> That was, that was a plan to get. I didn't know that. that, that <laughs> so you don't, you don't always want to be seen high. Okay, example. There we go. Right, that's That one, is that's, there. So kind of what the is the protocol really for a teacher if that happens? Well, that's got to be, well. That's, that's what, I want protocol. Okay. I want steps let me, for let me, let me, let me, So I'm that's going to, those kind of things, can, those kind of things can be turned off on the network. Okay. Okay, but they don't, we won't know until we, they start popping up. Okay, so we what we teach the kids is the things that we go into. This is a this is a um, a staff site, mm -hmm. so it's not it's not the same thing as something that's been vetted that, that those normally wouldn't pop up. Well, they won't pop up for the kids, but things that were like that right there is a prime example. Um, but what we've done is um, the assessments for each lesson for each lesson that we go over. Are also built in there, and that's like you said, where you got the badge part, um, just to show that we're moving through. Okay, so and I'll help you with those too. Okay, so that gives you access to that site, either on your laptop or now you have it where you can just touch and go. Okay. Um, so you go to you go to Tim site to do basic iPad if you want to learn the basic iPad. This Tim is one is a subject we'll go over today. Okay. iPad basic is a there's a is a separate lesson. Okay. But but we can do this on our own anyhow. Absolutely. Okay. But how many badges do I have to do this for? Ten. There's for this one. There's for basics. There's one. one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I want you to go to is to actually um, make a note on your on your time to Google um, TIM or Technology Integration Matrix. Mm -hmm. um, a group in Florida has come up with this. Florida, Florida has the, the largest and one of the most renowned uh, virtual schools. Mm -hmm. So their technology push is, is, a, is ahead of a lot of places. Um, this is a model that we've adopted. Um, So what, what this is, is a model and kind of how, you know how, you know how, our TEKS um, evaluations, these are, these are similar evaluations that are not for, for, you know, there's no grade or anything for these, but this is to kind of guide us where we want to go with how we're, you, how we're going to use technology. Um, it's a tool that shows where you lie and where your students lie. Um, with different characteristics in the learning environment using technology. And it's all linked towards personalized learning, okay? That's our goal. Our goal is not to use technology to use technology. It's really to really understand that we're using technology to engage more students and then enhance their opportunities to, you know, either move ahead or, move, or that they need to be remediated, all at the same time in the classroom. It used to be, we just gave different color um, folders to differentiate. You know, you have a lesson, you have a lesson, and that, you know, if you've ever gone through a period of time doing that, that's, that's very cumbersome. Um, and you never really, really know where they are. Um, you're just kind of going, they're going along. With, with the technology, you, the, the, the kids literally will be working on different things with you able to work with certain kids while other kids are moving on. Mm -hmm. You're working with kids that actually need the help it may be your whole class on some days. It may be, you know, it may be um, just a couple kids. But what this matrix um, shows us, it's that it's it's being used right now. We're collecting data to see where we are with the use of technology. Where, you know, do we have? As you move across, if you just eyeball, I 
don't expect you to, to take it all in, but if you just eyeball the chart, you're, we're trying to move to the right, the transformation mm -hmm. part, okay? Through goal oriented, authentic, constructive, collaborative, and active strategy. So if you can kind of grade yourself um, where you are on this chart, um, and then move as we move past that. The key, we're trying to, we, when we say active, we, we want the students to be engaged using the technology, not looking at things they shouldn't be looking at. That's something we have to learn. Um, kids are actually able to work together too. Um, Project-based learning, we, are, we know works. This, this te technology enables them to, to do it on their own. Um, you gotta be careful too though, because parents, parents' biggest concern, a lot of their concerns is that they, they feel like the students are having to teach themselves. At the beginning, it feels like that because it's different technology, but that's, our role it becomes even more important because we've got to facilitate what they're doing. Um, but they think, you know, a student goes home and says, all I did was I looked at an iPad all day long. That's not really all that they, they were doing or expected to do. Um, and then making sure that um, our strategies are authentic and goal directed. You know, many of these things I know as a staff, we do already, you know, the majority, especially the majority of us that will be here year after year. We do these things. We're just given a different tool, okay? Um, then we have to look at where are the kids um, as far as their engagement. Um, are they entry level? Is, are, are the teachers directing? Um, you know, like I said, we want to move this way across the scale. Um, we have many teachers right now that are at these levels already, okay? The ones that haven't, you know, somebody else is using the resources all the time, haven't had the chance, have, are not as high on the scale, but because of practice. Like I was telling Billy, you won't really know the questions you have until you're actually using it on a day in and day out basis. Um, and that's where we, you need to be supported, okay? And you need quick answers, like you said. What do we do if this happens? Those, and those are important, and those are things I'm, you know, we're gonna make note of. The key is really to follow up with what you ask for. You know, we've, we've had, we've rolled out different things, you know, over the years. This one, um, there's a lot of money invested. Oh, in yeah. Um, Coach, uh, the experience that they've had in Florida is they're kind of ahead of us, so to speak. So, so yield uh, something, I'm just thinking like a frequently asked questions list of common stuff that they ran into that probably is going to also happen with teachers in Georgia. I mean, it's not like crossing the border is going to do that much as far as the kind of <laughs> yeah. issues teachers are going to well, have that we could kind of steal. Well, we are going to use those things. Okay. And we are developing those because those are kind of a, that's a good place to send people to start. Right. Okay, if this is something happening, you know, you're able to kind of figure it out on your own. It's beyond that, but I think we, we need more support. Um, so how do we move across? Um, the, the biggest part of, the, of this evaluation is it shows you how the kids can work more on their own, okay? Um, you know, the way we look at grades right now, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, middle school is, is easier than high school and elementary school, but where the kids are, you know, you may have a kid, a student that starts in the sixth grade here, but is really in, in whatever content area, whether it's a foreign language, um, they may be a special ed student, but they may be they can achieve in certain areas already at an eighth grade level, okay? Yeah, what we're trying to build that gap is the kids, I think, the kids that are in the middle that we need to move up, the low mm -hmm. and the middle that we need to move mm -hmm. up. You know, there's always, there's been different cycles as far as who we focus on. You know, some sometimes right. we wanted to move the high, you know, the middle of the high kids as high as we can, and then move the low kids to the middle. You, it was real. I think it's difficult to kind of do that without some other type of resource. This this using technology will let us be able to do that um, because the choices really are where do they start and end each day. Okay. I was telling Coach in eighth grade health, which is a boys, but it's a challenging group for me. So what we what I we created along these lines are tasks each unit that they can, there's there's four or five tasks per unit 
we have nine, we have nine, one week units though, so it's different than your other semester class. But the students, they are able to, they have to complete each task, but there's four or five different choices on which task, how they complete that task. Yeah. And then also, they can they can come up with their own, mm -hmm. um, which they're already, some kids are already doing. Some kids will stay at the lower end of that scale all the time, but they still will be successful. Some will do things I would have never even thought of. You know, they're already starting to do that. Yesterday, a kid videotaped his all his vocabulary words. Yeah. And then, and then we showed it, and his face just lit up. Mm -hmm. And then some of the kids said, "Can I do it in Spanish?" Because I, I have a new student that doesn't speak any English, so he's going to do it in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Cool. You know, he's you know, and I do forward the cards a lot because that's what kind of where we're going. Um, and then another kid, same day, created a Kahoot, and then we did it in class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all within, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's all within yeah, that's one class period. Right. Okay, so you know, yeah, I showed the the team, and they're like, "That's pretty cool." Let let us know how it works because it's totally right. different. It's okay. you know, the way we've done things, but it's it's phenomenal because they, you know, that's one of the hardest groups we have is because we get kids down here from you know, yeah, all levels, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. you know, so and they can't go through. To give them, the, you know, I ask them every day, is this, what do you think? Because they said the last thing they want is for me to stand up and lecture all day. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, <laughs> but, That's what right, think, yeah. right. I think I'm going to be like, right, but I'm not sitting in the chair. Um, so the first places we're going to start um, are a lot of the, like, what did the, we learned this last time? What's this icon? I'm moving. Right. I'm moving. I'm moving. It's something we're going to use a lot of. Um, Kids are creating uh, their own Weebly. It's free. What Weebly uh, websites? One neat thing that I had that I didn't do this time, but that I could do next year is actually where they show all their work. They just create a Weebly account. Mm -hmm. It's a website. I can always access it. Okay. They can too, and they can always put content into it mm -hmm. of all their work. You know, how could you beat that? Is that I mean, like a demo? Is it a? No, no, it's all it is. Is you go in and you just create whatever content you want. You can add videos. Okay. So, yeah. Well, Weebly is you create a blog. Right. And they can put in whatever content they it's want. It's very easy. And they can drop okay. videos in there. They can drop content in there. It's very simple. Parents can see it. I can see it. There are other it's students can see it. The Ridgeview site is used on Weebly. Right. That's, that Ridgeview PD site is a Weebly. It's a lot That's more. Right it's a lot more stuff than we see in the, in the other ones. But that would be a way for kids to show this. And you don't have to do anything with it. You, you show the student, and there's free versions are great. There's enough where you don't even have to buy the student. So the idea is they have the option of creating that. They don't have to, right? No, no, no. That's what we're going towards. That's yeah, what we're going towards. Option. But that's if, if I give them a, a device, there's no reason not to. Right? Yeah. Okay? Two and others that they like are Wix and some more. Say that yeah. again. Wix, W-I-X, that's where you create a website. Correct. But they're doing it. And yeah. S'more, I just discovered this week with these project managers. Yeah, we've been, yeah, been doing that for a while. Yeah, yeah. And, and, without, kids, uh, yeah. and then we share it out. Yeah. Okay. You, know, so. you can make uh, brochures and all kind of mm -hmm. stuff like that with um, S'more. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it's simple. Mm -hmm. It's simple. Yeah. And they're delicious. Yes, they, yes, they are. They don't have internet mm -hmm. access at home. Right. Right. Can they use this at home? Yes. They can, they, I mean, they can't connect. They can't go they, to they, It would be on this, it's because it's all server based, right? Right. The yeah. stuff is, right. Everything's but server see, you're going to ask building. Comcast, is, is a partner of ours, and they have a very, very inexpensive yeah. Yeah, um, way to get internet at home that, that's built for the way to write that into so your charter at the beginning of the year where, where this would be a that likes the same thing, you know, like, home. I need, like, Uniforms. I mean, I've got a dog. Yeah, I, you know, that money. That would be a great idea. I mean, you see these kids with nice shoes, but they can't afford the internet. Yeah. You know, you know, the governor's board 